In this video, I'm gonna show you how to match your background music to your video length inside of Premiere Pro. Now I'm gonna show you how this cool new tool called Remix is gonna save you so much time getting your music to the right length for your edit. So let's jump inside of Premiere Pro. Let me show you how to use the Remix tool. So we're inside of one of our edits and I have a song here that I want to add into my edit. So I'm gonna drag it and drop it into the edit. And you can see it's super short in comparison to the length of my edit. So now I want to remix this song so that it covers our entire edit. So how do we do that? We can go across and grab our remix tool. So all you have to do is hold down option and click on the ripple edit tool and it's gonna switch it through. Do it a few times until you get to the remix tool. It's got that little music sound. Once we're on the remix tool, we can select our song. Let me zoom in so you can see what it's gonna do. And all we need to do once we have that remix tool selected, we can just drag our song out and what Premiere Pro is gonna do, it's gonna analyze the song and remix it for us to the length that we have desired. So you'll see that it has created all of these squiggly lines and what that means is where it has adjusted or made a change, that's where it's added in a section in order to lengthen the song. Now we have a few options if you head across to the right hand side under essential sound and under duration we have remix selected and make sure this is ticked if it's not ticked not going to be able to make any changes to the remix tool we can drop down on the customize and you can see we've got an option here for segments and variations so you have two options to customize you can change the amount of segments you can have fewer or more and you can adjust the variation in your remix now what we're going to do is we're going to lengthen our music to cover our entire edit so we're going to zoom out there and drag it along so that our song covers the entire edit and you can see how many adjustments it's made in order to lengthen the song for the entire edit. Now you can go in here and listen to the song and see how the remix has happened but this is a great way to save so much time in order to get your music to the right length for your edit so you don't have to do any fiddly stuff with keyframes and adjusting your song. This tool is an amazing addition and it's a really great way to save you some time editing your background music inside of your edit. If you have any questions or queries about the remix tool let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you're going to start using this tool straight away let us know by smashing that like button and if you want to see more editing tips and tricks you can watch our next video right here.